Hello, how you doing? It's Phil Thatch, and I have a new product that I'm excited to be reviewing today. It's from a company called Lano, L-L-A-N-O, and it's a dual camera battery and charger set. Comes in this box right here. Let's see what's in the box. It comes with a pouch to carry it in, which the pouch is, it's all right, but I don't think I'll use it because I'll probably just put the charger in my camera bag without this, but it does come with this. And it comes with a little strap that you can put on your charger. I probably won't use that either. And a little instruction manual that I have definitely referred to a few times while I was getting ready for this video. But what you really wanted to see is this. This is the charger itself. And I think it looks really, really good. Has a nice quality feel on the outside of it. Kind of, uh, it's rubberized, but not shiny. If that makes any sense. And it has some, some rubber feet on it. So when you set it down, it doesn't slide around. Looks pretty good. Also, this particular kit comes with the batteries. You can get these kits as just the charger or the charger and two batteries. And this one came with two batteries, which you can see in this magnetized lid. There's the two batteries, but actually one of these batteries is a genuine Sony battery. I'm reviewing the Sony version and the other one is the Lano battery that came with it. I've got the one of the Lano batteries in my A6700. And you know, they make this for Fuji and they make it for Canon and they make it for Sony and they say they make it for Nikon, although I haven't found a link for Nikon yet. But the reason I picked the Sony when they offered me to review this, the reason I picked the Sony is because I figured it would be the most useful. And the reason I figured it would be the most useful is because the Sony a6700 does not come with a battery charger. The only way to charge a battery with a stock a6700 is to charge the battery while it's inside the camera and that's fine but what if you have a second battery or what if you want to be charging one battery and using the other battery so that's why i picked the sony because the poor sony a6700 shooters they don't get a charger so the charger has a usb-c port and like i say it comes with a usb-c cable it does not come with a charging block that you would plug into your wall and this charger functions differently depending on what kind of charger you use. If you have a, I believe if you put a PD rated charger on it, it will go into rapid charge mode. And if you have just a regular non PD rated charger, that it will charge in a slower mode. And I'll show you how those modes look in a minute. Inside the charger, you can pull the batteries out and you can see it has It's magnetized, it wants to close, and you can see it has charging ports one and two, and there's also an SD card slot in there. And I thought it might be an actual SD card reader, but actually that's just a storage space. So if you are carrying this with you and you also need a place to carry an extra SD card, you can put it right here in your battery charger. It doesn't do anything other than hold the SD card. And there's also a button on the front. Let me put these batteries back in. There's also a button on the front, and if you press that button, even if there's no power going to it, it will turn on the display and show you exactly what percentage of battery you have on each of the batteries you have in there. So, let's see. First, I'm going to plug it into a charger that is PD rated. And when you plug it into a PD rated charger, it comes on and starts charging and you see the little lightning bolt in between the numbers there and it's solid. That means it's in rapid charge mode. And now I'm going to put a charging block, an old iPad charging block that's not PD rated. And I'm going to plug that in. And you can see now it's charging, but the little, the little lightning bolt, the little green lightning bolt is flashing. And that means it's charging, but not in rapid charge mode. So I love that it shows you 
whether or not it's in rapid charging mode right there on the front display. That's pretty cool. What if you want to charge your batteries from a battery backup block like this? This one happens to be PD rated. So now that's plugged in. And as you can see, we have a solid lightning bolt. So we are charging in rapid mode without even being at the house. I really like the USB-C functionality of this. So you can charge it while you're in the car. I think when you're in the car, you'll probably get a, a flashing lightning bolt. It won't be rapid charge, but you can charge it with a battery backup like this. Just lots of ways to charge your two batteries. And I love the display that gives you the exact percentage of the batteries that you have in there. It's really cool. So reading here in the little manual, if you are in regular charge mode and you have one battery in the charger, it's receiving one amp hour. If you have two batteries, they're each receiving a half an amp hour. But if you go up to the rapid charge and you have one battery, it's receiving one and a half amp hours. And if you have two batteries, it's receiving one amp hour. So the fastest way is to rapid charge just one battery in there. But usually if you're going to charge a battery, you've got lots of time to charge it. So you can just put a slow charger on it and put two batteries in there and charge it overnight. But if you need one really quick, use a, use a rapid charger, a PD charger, and one battery in here at a time. And that's the way I would probably do it if I was out in the field. I'd have one battery in my camera while I'm working and the other battery would be rapid charging from my battery backup. Now, like I said earlier, you can, you can get this charger either with two batteries, which let me show you what they look like. I've got the actual Sony battery and the Lano battery here. So you can see the difference. Form factor is exactly the same, obviously. The Sony battery says it's rated at 2280. And the Lano battery says it's rated at 2400. So according to those ratings, this should have a little bit more life. I haven't tested them to see exactly how long each will last. But, you know, I tend to stay away from third-party batteries myself. I tend to be more trusting of genuine Sony or Canon or Nikon or whatever batteries. But I did put the Lano battery in my A6700 and I've done lots of photos with it. It seems to work just fine. I've done some uh, 120 frames per second slow motion video. It works fine. I haven't noticed any differences in the way my camera performs when using the Lano battery versus using the genuine Sony battery. Which honestly, that kind of surprised me. I, I didn't expect the, the third party batteries to perform as well, but they seem to be working just fine. But again, if you are the type who prefers to use a genuine Sony battery or Canon battery or whatever, you can buy this awesome charger without batteries if that's the way you want to go. But if you get it with batteries, it's crazy inexpensive. I mean, you can get the charger and two batteries for not much more than just one genuine battery. So that's, uh, that's a bargain. I'm excited to have this product. I'm probably, I, I haven't decided if I'm taking a Sony camera or a Canon camera when Heather and I go to Canada later this year. But if I take the Sony camera, I'm definitely going to be taking this with me because it's going to be really handy to have a charger that works away from the house or the hotel room. And as usual, I'll have links to this. I'm going to try to find the link to the charger with batteries and the charger without batteries and for as many brands as I can find. And I'll put that in the description of the video. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please reach down, hit the thumbs up button. That helps me out a lot. And as always, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.